Dean, Derby Day delight and sent us top to the top of the table. You must be delighted with that result. Yeah, look, I'm delighted with the results first and foremost. That's obviously the key to the business. You've got to win football matches, but I feel for our dominance, we should be winning with more goals. We've been like that now in six of our seven games. Um, I've had to score up my corner sort of to win the game, but we've dominated possession. We've got a little bit more in the top end. And uh, I'm not trying to be overcritical of the players or anything like that, but from a coach's staff's point of view, I think we've got six out of the seven games right tactically. And our dominance of possession and the areas we get into, we need to create more chances. Excellent goal from Addy in the second half. Obviously, we, like you mentioned there, dominating possession. Uh, it was great for the mentality of the group to keep going and get that goal in the end. Yeah, obviously, look, like I say, from open play, we've gotten to so many good areas. And got the, I know Boreham would defend deep. I know they do. I know a successful season, a proper successful season, not like last season, because um, that's not proper success. So I'm questioning, can we do that? You know, realistically, I don't want to say we should have won by for me, definitely two clear goals, if not three. So we need to get to that point. Uh, it was the same away at Eastley, um, the same against Hartlepool. You know, we found ourselves training up in them games, and they ended up being three, three, and three all. So people ask why and this, that, and the other, but the players have got to do better. So obviously, we're working on it. The players are working hard. I'm not criticising them. I'm just saying, if we're going to have real success, we've got to do better in the final tour. Um, some good performance. Addy was outstanding. Um, he's up against two real good centre forwards. Obviously, much three in the end. They started with a four and then they changed to a three. So, um, look, all in all, uh, he had a great performance. So I thought once again, Hartigan was outstanding. And we kept going, we kept pushing. Uh, we showed good character, especially after losing last Saturday the way we did. And then we haven't expected us to win. So we've come here and we put in a, a solid performance, but we can improve. There's no doubt about that. As you mentioned, us in front of goal, but also defensively, I know a big thing for this season was to concede less goals. Clean sheet today against Bor Borenwood, our top side, obviously, in this division. You must be very pleased with that. Please, well, I didn't like how we started the game. There's a great chance at the start of the game, and there's a chance at the end where I think our goalie should come catch the corner. It was a corner, I think it was a corner. Yeah, it was a corner. And Bush sort of had a head at the back post. So we've got to clean up on them things because we could have come away here. We could have got a kick in the teeth. Um, for a, t a total dominance, uh, obviously the way Boreham will play, they want to stay in the game. Last year we played them, I think we, in, the, in the playoffs, we had 70% possession. We doubled the amount of chances, they had attempts on goal, and they come away with the victory. So I know they've got injuries at them in the Boreham world, I'm not making excuses for anybody, but we need to be better, we need to do much better. So the main thing for us is, look, in a derby we've won the game. So if, if, I, if I look at it from a helicopter position, we've won the game, that's the main thing. Um, from a coaching position and from improving position, we need to be more ruthless in what we do. 816 Barnet fans came along today. What's your message to them? Yeah, delighted for them. They gave us an unbelievable service. They've been brilliant, really, since I've come in. I said to them from day one, I'll give you a team that will walk their socks off, and our players are prepared to do that, which they've done. We show good bravery at times. Um, we're in our possession today. Um, and I thought, all in all, look, I'm just delighted for them because it's nice to derby, and I understand that, what it means to them. Um, so that one is for them. Um, so we'll, we'll dust ourselves down and move on to the next game. So I'll train them at home next week. They're a good side as well. So hopefully they can get behind us and we get the hive buzzing. So great turnout though. And uh, hopefully they'll enjoy the weekend. Obviously now we are top of the league and obviously it's very early days as well in the season. Is this why you're maybe not critical of the players but want to keep them grounded and tell, like make sure they know there's a whole a long way to go in this division? Yeah, expectations are high. I think we're only plus six. So for all the dominance, we're only plus six. So we should be, in my opinion, plus 13, 14 for the level of performance we've shown so far. Um, I'm not being critical of them. I said to you, the bar is going to get raised. And obviously, I feel we've got a group of players that can do that. I wouldn't put that pressure on them. I didn't think they could handle it. So it's the same for me. I'm under the same pressure. You know. So we've all got to handle it together. We've all got to keep sticking together. The, the lads know I'm harsh with them because I say the same thing to them in the changing room. So. Um, I'm not trying to be arrogant or anything with them. Just, if we're going to be a better side, and now we're there to be shot at again, because the last time we were top of the table, we were beat by a team that went near the bottom of the table, So, uh, which I said to everybody, so can we handle it now? Can we handle this pressure? Where can we go from here? So let's keep going one game at a time. Um, we've got to make the Hive's been a fortress so far, so I think we've won three out of three there. So, But I know Altrincham are a very good side. Listen, they've, got, they've signed a brilliant player, in my opinion, the lad of Stockport, the top player him, by the way. So that's really good signing for them. Uh, they've got a potent front line, loads of pace. So we're going to have to be at it. And last year, I think against Aldrin, I think we might have got kicked in the teeth at home. I think we got beat at their place at home. So we've got to make sure, you know, there's no easy games and we're, at, and we're after the opposition. So the standards we've set, we've got to keep reaching and we've got to get better. So that's, that's my job. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers.